A 20-second Glinda teaser dropped, and we got new footage of Glinda. I'll break that down and go over more wicked news. Oh, hello. You're good. So I've been told. They took those lines from the Broadway show. Well, you're good. Oh, I don't know what you mean. I love that Ariana Grande contributed to the Wicked script. It is my heart's desire to become a sorceress. Seriously? I need to lie down. I knew this part had to be from when she couldn't turn Elphaba's frock into a ball gown. I love the amused look on Cynthia's face. This line could also be referring to this part in Act 1 before the wizard and I. Something's wrong. I didn't get my way. I think I need to lie down. Are you looking for something? Or someone? The look on Fiero's face is so funny, and I love how they kept this from the show. Glinda's friends are helping her into the ball gown. I wonder what roles they'll have in both films and what they'll add to the story. Popular looks like it's going to be a fun number. Alphaba looks like she's experiencing so much anxiety, hoping Glinda won't fall off. This is a cool shot. It's good to see me, isn't it? This line is from the show. PG, only in theaters November 22nd. And now we know that Wicked will be rated PG. I wonder if part two will be PG, or if it'll be a little darker, and get a PG-13 rating. One thing I love is that the creators and actors can really pay attention to minor details like Cynthia Erivo talking about her nails. Uh, the hair and the nails. Uh, I knew I wanted her to have micro and I knew I wanted her to have a full set. Mm -hmm. uh, and two reasons. <laughs> yeah. There are two reasons. One, because um, it felt like uh, a nod to the culture that I come from. And also, it felt like a nod and homage to the law of arts. There is an infamous picture uh, of Margaret Hamilton, who is the original Wicked Witch. Uh, she's in, in the shadow, and she's sort of like that. Mm -hmm. And her nails. And I, I saw it at the, the Academy Museum. And I'd seen it before, but I was reminded that this was always a part of the character. And what I wanted to do was find out how that came to be. And I knew that because we were starting at the very beginning of her story, I wanted to find a way to implement that and make it a part of the richer stories than I knew who she was. Her nails were almost a part of her genetic makeup, that they just grew this long that it was part of the magic that she had, that maybe hadn't discovered yet. But just like the green skin, that she wasn't quite sure why, her nails also grew this way. Allowing herself to be more herself. It gets, the nails get longer, and the design gets a bit more uh, extravagant. And so, I mean, you haven't seen the second movie, but by the time you get to the second movie, they're like this. They're like full talent, and the color has sort of become not just an expression, the, the realization of the magic that she has within. So it all is connected to her humanity, who she is, what she can do, the magic that she has, and the expression of who she is as a person. We also got news that Cynthia Erivo is being submitted for the Best Actress category at the Oscars, and Ariana Grande is being submitted for the Best Supporting Actress category. Co-star Jeff Goldblum, had nothing but kind things to say about their performances. Ariana Grande, just, you know, a beloved and a giant uh, musical a superstar. We met when she was 11. She showed me pictures. She, I didn't remember. She came backstage to the Pillow Man. I was doing this thing at the Booth Theater, and she saw productions with her mom. She has pictures of the two of us backstage after or, you know, signing out. That's fantastic. Anyway, now working with her, she's to play that part, and you see some of it in it, absolutely incredible. Uh, her acting and her singing, and Cynthia Erivo. Cynthia Erivo. I'm not afraid. Out of this world, out of this world. They're both out of this world. I should have been intimidated. They, we sang songs all the time on set, and John M. Chu helped 
us realize this character as a little different from the idea in the movie. I'm a kind of a Tesla character who's invented the 20th century in a way in this parallel universe and movies and myth making and uh, et cetera, et cetera. I'll, at another time, I'll gush about it further, as you can imagine. In a Deadline article, it was revealed that Wicked will be two hours and 45 minutes. That's the entire runtime of the stage show on one hand. I'm nervous about how that will affect the story's pacing. On the other hand, we can flesh out and go more in depth with each character thus making the second movie more heartbreaking and dark. We can also get Moore's law thus incorporated from the Wizard of Oz and Wicked books. We also got an official release date for Wicked Part 2. There will also be a Wicked experience coming to Universal Studios Hollywood and Orlando sometime this October. We also got new releases for Wicked Dolls. Are you excited for the Wicked movie? Leave a comment below.